Now when you look at this equation, it's actually a very, very simple equation. Now, how can we solve this equation? This equation actually have three solutions, okay? One of the solution is glaring, very, very obvious, because x to the power, since the power are the same, x to minus 16, x to minus 16, it means that these two bases must also be the same, because we can have three to the power of two, so you go to five to the power of two. If they have the same power, they must have the same base. So therefore, one of the glaring solution is x equals what? Seven, that's solution one, that's the first solution. What about the other two solutions? Now, we're going to use law of indices for powers raised to, for um, numbers that have a power of zero. Don't forget that any number raised to the power of zero, any non-zero number raised to the power of zero gives us what? One. So that means x to the power of zero will give us the same result as seven to the power of what? Zero. That means we can equate this power to zero. That is x squared minus 16 equals what? Zero. So we can solve for x from here. Now we have x squared will be equals to what? 16. So when we take the square root, we're going to have x equals square root plus or minus what? 16. Okay. So that means x is equals to plus or minus what? 4. Okay. So that means the other two solutions are x equals 4 or x equals negative what? 4. So these are the three solutions to this word equation. Now, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have learned something new here. Till next time, bye-bye.